What in the world is going on? Earlier today, I reported that several sources are saying the dead D.C. staffer had contact with WikiLeaks. Almost a year ago, a D.C. staffer named Seth Rich was found dead, murdered in the nation's capital. Seth was shot and killed, but for what? The family's private investigator claims the D.C. staffer had contact with WikiLeaks just before his murder. Now, on, on um, Zero Hedge here, they've got a report that says the murdered DNC staffer, Seth Rich, shared 44,000 Democrat emails with WikiLeaks. Report, for the past several months, Democrats have based their Resist 45 movement on unsubstantiated assertions that the Trump campaign coordinated with Russian intelligence officials to undermine the 2016 presidential election, thereby stealing the White House from Hillary Clinton. Day after day, we've all suffered through one anonymously sourced, quote, shock story after another from the New York Times and or the Washington Post with new allegations of the wrongdoing. But new evidence surfacing in the Seth Rich murder investigation may just squash the Russian hacking conspiracy theory. According to a new report from Fox News, It was former DNC staffer Seth Rich who supplied 44,000 DNC emails to WikiLeaks and not some random Russian cyber terrorist, as we've all been led to believe. According to Fox News, though admittedly via yet another anonymous FBI source, Rich made contact with WikiLeaks through Gavin McFadden, an American investigative reporter and director of WikiLeaks who was living in London at the time. According to Fox News sources, federal law enforcement investigators found 44,053 emails and 17,761 attachments sent between DNC leaders from January 2015 to May 2016 that Rich shared with WikiLeaks before he was gunned down on July 10th, 2016. This is bombshell. This is bombshell. This not not only proves just how much of a a lie this entire mainstream media push is. And they're doing everything in their power to silence this. And of course, we're seeing the propaganda continually be pushed day after day after day. Now, who is Rod Wheeler? Who is this? Rod Wheeler is a private detective who is hired by the Rich family and suggests there is tangible evidence on Rich's laptop that confirms he was communicating with WikiLeaks before his death. Just how deep is the corruption? Questions have raised regarding why the D.C. police, the lead agency on this murder investigation for the past 10 months, have insisted this was a robbery gone wrong when there appears to be no evidence to suggest that. Wheeler is a former D.C. police homicide detective who is running a parallel investigation and believes that there is a cover-up underway for his murder. The murder of Seth Rich. Now hang on, we've got some more to cover here. here here's a twist. And this is where you really got to question what exactly is going on. Because you had the family of the murdered DNC staffer, Seth Rich, denying the reports he sent WikiLeaks emails. The family of a Democratic National Committee staffer who was shot and killed in Washington last summer denied the report that their son leaked more than 44,000 emails to WikiLeaks before his death. As we've seen through the past year of unsubstantiated claims, we see no facts. We have seen no evidence. We have been approached with no emails and only learned about this when contacted by the press, the family said in a statement released Tuesday afternoon. Even if tomorrow an email was found, it is not a high enough bar of evidence to prove any interactions as emails can be altered and we've seen that those interested in pushing conspiracies will stop at nothing to do so. But hold on here. This is the family of the murdered DNC staffer. They already lost their son. There is potential that the Clintons were behind it. Whose side are they on? Their dead sons or the Clintons? Because the very fact that a, a former detective, a private, a private investigator, has found that there is potential evidence, and of course, and this is coming from an FBI anonymous source, and we keep hearing that, but this one's supposedly on our side, right? He's the person who's saying that there's evidence that on his laptop there were 44,000 plus emails. And then the family's denying that. And of course you have Fox News also reporting on this as well. The uh, the family of the Democratic National Committee staffer who was gunned down on July 10th on a Washington, D.C. 
blasted reports that he was a source of uh, emails leaked to WikiLeaks. Rod Wheeler, a retired Washington homicide detective and Fox News contributor investigating the case on behalf of the Rich family, made the WikiLeaks claim, which was corroborated by a federal investigator who spoke to Fox News. So exactly whose side is the family of the DNC staffer on? Because you have to wonder, if this has been going on for, for almost well over a year, they said he was, he was uh, potentially emailing, hold on, i got to go back and find the date. I think it was, yeah, January 2015 to May 2016. Wouldn't he be, wouldn't he be talking to his family about these strange things that were going on within the DNC? And of course, we know what these 44,000 emails produced. We've seen what happened. We saw all of it blow up through the 2016 presidential elections, didn't we? Selection, excuse me. But there's another side to this as well. We have to keep that in mind. Don't, don't forget about the other side that we've covered heavily with Jared Kushner and such and the connections to George Soros. So you really have to step back. And of course, you've you got to take your emotions out of this because this is huge. This has the potential to put the final nails in the DNC's coffin if there's actual real investigative work done. If corruption is, you know, kicked out. This country has never been so divided. And in large part, it is because of the mainstream media. It is because of the propaganda they've pushed. It is because of the bias that they have pushed. We covered a report that was from Politico, nonetheless, that showed that only 7% of journalists around America, 7% actually identify as Republican. And that was back in 2013. What do you think those numbers are like right now? They live in little bubbles and they have no idea what reality actually is. Now hang on here. Then on July 22nd, just 12 days after Rich was killed, WikiLeaks published internal DNC emails that appeared to show top party officials conspiring to stop Bernie Sanders from becoming the party's presidential nominee. Wouldn't he be telling his family this? Wouldn't he be telling it? So why is the family then coming out and denying it? That's what, that was my point. Like, Whose side is the family on? Obviously the family would have known. Now, it gets, even, it gets even weirder. It gets even weirder here. This is a, uh, a retweet, so you can take it uh, for whatever you, you will. It's got 3,000 retweets and 3,800 likes. Uh, it's from slash poll news forever. Seth Rich was alive and awake when cops found him. He died at the hospital. Cops wore body cameras. What did he say to cops? What did the body cams capture? No, no, I'm not just reading you a tweet. Here's the actual, I, I mean, it, who knows? It's an image, but this is the Metropolitan Police Department, CCN, hashtag 16113797-event number, public incident packet. Now, the event number is 16113797. This is a public incident report. Report date, July 10th, 2016. This is the 5th District, 501. The event start date time, uh, event end date time, July 10th, 420. Jody, the responding officer is Jody O'Leary. Weather was clear. Robert Wingate Robinson, the badge number is 7634, body worn camera. There's another officer who's also got another camera on. Actually, excuse me, there's two more with Benjamin Velez also wearing a, a camera and Mark Lee who is also wearing a camera. So they have the footage of what actually took place. And it would be very interesting to see what happened. The victim's name, Seth Conrad Rich. Home address and so on and so forth. Uh, the property and items. CIC reports the sound of gunshots at 2134 Flagger uh, upon arriving to the scene. The decedent was laying in the southwest corner of the intersection of West Street. The decedent was conscious and breathing with an apparent gunshot wound to the back. The decedent was transported to local area hospital and was pronounced by attending physician at 0557 hours, 0500, almost 6 a.m. Um, I have no idea if, there's, if this has been verified or not, but this is... Uh, appears to be a real and actual police report stating that the cops were wearing cameras 
and that he wasn't even dead yet. Now, I don't know. There's no way to verify this unless we actually saw the footage, of course. But you've also got Kim.com stating that Seth was at WikiLeaks' DNC source. Seth was killed for that reason. And Seth is one of many Clinton victims. Seth is a hero for preventing Clinton. I have to say this real quick here. Um, You know, from the 2016 selections, we've seen some incredible, incredible attacks on independent media, haven't we? We've seen countless YouTube channels, countless websites, all closing their doors because they've been what? Called fake news because they've been, they've lost their funding and so on and so forth. And we are very close to having to close our YouTube channel at the, at, at the most right now. Um, and it's sad to say because this is just starting to heat up a little bit. I cannot continue to push YouTube videos because I have to focus on putting food on the table. So if you guys want to keep getting these reports, please subscribe to the website or donate. Go to ChristianTruther.com for more on that. This is bombshell information. And you know, it's really sad to see that the propaganda and the attacks that have come from mainstream media are taking effect on independent media because we're not backed by corporations. We're not backed by million dollar investors, or excuse me, billion dollars in billion dollar investors. It's us versus them. And when I said us, I meant all of you as well, because if we're not here and people aren't trying to actively get information out, guess what you have is mainstream media. We need your support, folks. Now, this is absolutely incredible timing. Because you have to realize here, the ousted FBI chief, James Comey, claimed in a write-up of dinner with Trump that President asked him to let go investigation into National Security Advisor Mike Flynn because he's a good guy. So all of this is going on right now. It's just this enormous amount, of like a, like a hurricane's come through, and they're just trying to sweep everybody up, aren't they? So we must look in the background, what's actually going on. Trump's about to take a a trip to the Middle East, isn't he? And he's been talking a lot about that peace deal. He's also been trying to get uh, Jared Kushner, or he's been pushing Jared Kushner to facilitate said peace deal. It's got to make you wonder, what, what are we not seeing? You see, we're seeing all these reports. We're seeing all this information. And upon analyzing it, you've really got to wonder, okay, so what's going on in the background? Our heads are starting to go left to right again. we got to keep them focused. Isn't that right? I want to thank you guys so much for watching and listening. God bless and carry on.